Hello, today we are talking about CTM master contract creation. And um, so basically what we are doing is we are, when we have an annual update on our contracts. I wanna teach you how to one, create these contracts because as a team member, we're not able to share them with you. Um, but two, this is how you can update them as we get new, um, new changes throughout the year. So basically we're gonna go into CTM and we are going to go to create new contract and then we're going to create listing contract so choose this i'm sorry create edit quick start master template that's what we're trying to do you can see here that i already have three i have a buyer's agency a contract to buy and sell and a seller's agency so uh, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to edit this buyer's agency and right now here's the buyer's agency name this has a parent contract that's coming from this guy. So if I wanted to change the default, I would um, go ahead and have a generic one, which is what should be here. We'll do that at a different time. For now, we're gonna assume that this is correct. And then we're going to make sure that all the extra Remax disclosures are already checked off. So we've got mold here. We know that we're gonna need wire. So wire is done. And then we know we're gonna need affiliated and affiliated is checked. If any of these were not checked, um, we could just check it off. And when it created a new buyer's agency, those documents would already be in there. This is really gonna help us on the back end when you're under contract and we're trying to get you paid. There are certain docs that are always required by Remax professionals. And so if you get these signatures in advance, then hopefully that will, uh, well, I know it will streamline the process at the end. So after all of this has been done, you're gonna click save this template and that will update your buyer's agency. Um, if you are brand new and to the team and you do not even have a buyer's agency one created, we need to uh, create that template first. So um, let's go back here to the main screen. You can see here we have a master seller agency, CBS residential, oh, these are Alyssa's. <laughs> so, um, if you look down here, I have a master CBS residential and a 2021 master seller agency. Um, I can make the edits into these files directly and save those changes um, to create your first contract. That's a, a different, that's outside of the scope of this video. But if you do not already have these, like Alyssa has, the master seller buyer and agency, we're gonna go here to create new contracts create edit quick start master template, and then we're gonna create new transaction master template. So you can choose what that's going to be. So in this case, we're gonna choose exclusive right to buy, and we're going to pick, um, so actually I don't want that, I want this. I want contract to buy and sell residential, and the master template is gonna be this, you're gonna create it because you don't have it. So you're gonna type 2021 or whatever year it is you're watching this video, CBT, CTB, contract to buy. And then we can select the exit at a parent contract, which ideally you would have created previously. In this case, um, we'll pick master CBT residential. So we're gonna click that. And again, you would have created that in advance. And then down here, we're gonna go down and click those same boxes. So I'm gonna click affiliated, I'm gonna click mold, I'm going to click wire, wire fraud here at the bottom. And then um, for me, I am also gonna check off this change of status um, just because I, I sell a decent amount of my own listings. So now we're gonna go ahead and click save this new template and then it will drop down from the drop down box um, in the future for us. So I'm gonna put 2022 just cause I need a new one anyway. Save this new template. And when you go back into create new contract, you're gonna click quick start and you'll select this new master template. You'll see that it automatically highlights the things that are defaulted to it. And you're gonna click create selected contracts. And it's gonna start right here with our template. So hopefully this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but you will need to go through this process for buyer's agency,
or a contract to buy and sell. And it's always a good idea to have one for a listing contract as well. Thanks for watching. Choose to make it a great day.